What is up, dickheads? A little while ago, maybe a few weeks ago, in my community tab, I put up a picture of myself looking stupid, which I know I always look stupid, but this one was like extra stupid, and I asked you guys to roast me. I also put that same image in one of my videos talking about the importance of being able to laugh at yourself, and I said I was going to read some of those comments, or actually all of those comments, in a future video, and this is that video, so let's check it out. First, I have to find my community tab. And I need to find that post because I've since posted other things somewhere along here. I know it is here. There it is. Just as a reminder, this is the picture that I put up there and asked you guys to roast. So, let's see how you did. The first comment comes from Nate DeSaw, who says... You look like that guy that robbed the local store and lost everything he took. So there was actually a guy who robbed a store and lost the shit that he stole? <laughs> what a numpty. And uh, apparently I look like him. So moving on, rdake45 says, Humpty Dumpty has been drinking a lot recently. I'm getting worried. What's wrong with drinking a lot? And that's not a roast. I mean, I guess the Humpty Dumpty part. Because Humpty Dumpty was chonky, and I am also chonky. Tetch1 says he drank so much vodka that he posted this weird picture. That What? That, that's not a roast. And um, I was completely sober, by the way, because I am in my truck and that picture was in my... That's not a roast. Like, come on, guys. These younger generations don't know how to roast shit. Uh, Usurius says, you look like Saitama, but instead of One Punch Man, you are Middle Finger Man. Don't know if this is an insult or a compliment, LMAO. <laughs> I have no idea either if it's a compliment or an insult. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Wave of Trolls 17 says, Jesus Christ, this takes the definition of Southern to a whole new level. Ouch! Nobody wants to be thought of as Southern because we all know what Southern people do. They have incest and drive pickup trucks. Weird shit. The Tube says, I'm Rick Harrison and this is my pawn shop. I work here with my old man and my son, Big Hoss. Everything in here has a story and a price. One thing I've learned after 21 years, you never know what is going to come through that door. What? That sounds oddly familiar. I think that's from a game or a show or something. Let me know down in the comments what that's from because it's somewhere in there and I, and I can't think of where I've heard that before. Yabi Oof or Yabi 00F says your head could be used to demonstrate the cleaning power of Windex because glass or because it's shiny. It is kind of shiny today. Not bad. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Is How is that supposed to be a road? I don't know. Never mind. Moving on. Anderson, you look like a babysitter that I hired the day my kid disappeared. I guess that's supposed to be like a kitty diddler sort of jibe. I imagine there's going to be a lot more of those. Uh, 1954 Bentley Type R says, You look like someone who has way too much time on their hands. Well, as a matter of fact, 1954 Bentley Type R, I have not enough time on my hands. There's so much shit I want to do, and I don't have time for it. Like this video I'm making right now, I just happen to have the time. Usually I'm go, 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 have to do shit, get shit done, drive here, pick this up, drop that off. And I wish I had too much time on my hands. Israel Roach says, this guy hit the floor so hard he can't look straight. Can't even look straight. What? Guys, this was, I said roast me. Not leave a nonsensical comment that's vague and not even funny. 
But anyways, moving on, Alistair says, the guy who asks me if I want free candy, another kitty diddler joke, unoriginal as I imagined. Golsa Lahuti says, you look like Mr. Clean's wannabe evil brother. So, is he evil or just wannabe evil? He's just kind of, never mind. Um, Joe Avery, this man is asking for us to roast him to make him more of a failure. The only thing that's failing right now is all these roasts, and I use that term very loosely because I, I don't think most people understood the gist of what's supposed to happen here. Aaron Yeager says he would be the result if my aunt had a child with the Lorax. I'm guessing your aunt looks like me because I don't think I look like the Lorax. Oof, sorry to her. Johannes Jewel Nielsen says, great. I always wanted a picture of a mighty bean with a crooked beard. I don't know what a mighty bean is, but yeah, I know I don't have the best beard. Kind of like, this is the most facial hair I can grow. I, I don't grow anything here. Unless I'm here. I wish I could. Otherwise, I'd be rocking like one of those big, epic beards. I would look like a member of ZZ Top or the Oak Ridge Boys. I know you guys have no idea who that is. So we'll just carry on. Uh, let's see, where was I? Matteo Biaggi says... He lost his bear on motorcycle, and he posted this for help. What? Okay. Uh, Lucas Mateo. Wow, I didn't know they staked shit that high. Well, Lucas Mateo, you, so far, win the medal for most unoriginal comment, because while I don't know what some of the other ones mean... Your comment is just ripped off from Full Metal Jacket. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. And you spelled stacked wrong. You're missing a C. C as in can't spell for shit. And for some odd reason, you decided to capitalize the H in high. Get your shit sorted out, man. Erica Rivera says, <coughs> excuse me. Erica R Rivera says, you look like that guy outside elementary school playground. Oh, that guy. Um, Chetna Fat, Mysook, sorry if I slaughtered your name. What shampoo do you use? Well, this is the shampoo that I use. Now, you might be wondering, why do you use shampoo when you got no hair? Well, I do have a little bit of hair. I started going bald over here, and I shaved it all off. But a friend of mine gave this to me a long time ago. It's got kukui oil, whatever that means. I don't know. Hydrate and defrizz plus shampoo. OGX, beauty pure and simple. Kukui nut oil it has. Uh, and I got it from a friend, and why let it go to waste? I still use it on my head and um so yeah that's the shampoo that i use hacker cool says dude your content is just as useless as that invention at least it knows how to properly give someone the bird well thank you hacker cool because that's exactly what i aim for with my content to be utterly useless and pointless and random so i'm glad people are noticing Kind of boosts my uh, self-esteem right there. Thank you. Uh, Geeky Bros says, nah fam, I'm good. It's all good, Geeky Bros. Whatever you do, you got to do. Skynut says, you look like Glenn from Walking Dead if he gained 90 pounds, went bald, and became ginger. Couple things wrong with that, right? First of all, Glenn would have to gain way more than 90 pounds. Um became ginger well i'm not ginger to begin with so that doesn't make sense and um glenn is asian there's nothing asian about me no nope, nothing moving on comrade ducky say me when my mom says that she is making dinner she must be a very good cook since you get that excited about dinner 
Chrome Weaver Gaming says, You look like if Cold, Stone Cold Steve Austin took heroin. That could be an okay look, right? It's not the worst. Yusuf Stalin says, You look like a capitalist. I am big time capitalist. Mirage or Mirai Asin says, You look like the person who makes useless creations. Well, that's because I am. Um, Mr. Mike looks like someone finally got to first base. That's how you know you're talking to somebody that's little, like young, because they're calling it first base. <laughs> I like that comment, though. That was funny. Adam S. says, I'm doing this because you told me to. I'm sorry. Adam S., do you do things just because people tell you to? Not a good way to live. Anyways, he goes on to say, you look like one of the people from in the Axiom. From Wally, but they were born too high to get fat. Don't know what that means. I know Wally, I know the fat people, but born too high to get fat? What are you talking about? Conico says, fat guy from Toy Story, but bald. It's been a while since I've seen Toy Story, so I don't know who they're talking about. No says, Aang really changed. Shake my head. <laughs> okay. Uh, me likes piano says, you are the guy who pisses at the bus stop. I do not piss at the bus stop. I piss at the mailbox inside if I could um, Alex Freeman says I have never met you nor have I seen your videos I don't know why you showed up in my recommended but here goes you look like that uncle that everyone has in your spare time I'm sure you have a piece of straw in mouth mouth and greet everyone by saying howdy that's not good you know there's only one type of people that say howdy and that's people from Dixie the southerners we talked about earlier who uh do incests ha 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 says you look like the kind of guy who kidnaps kids and gives them candy another kiddly kitty diddling joke that's been already done three or four times unoriginal on top of that i think people who kidnap kids don't actually ever give them candy i mean i doubt it maybe they do i don't know he seems to know a lot about that stuff so you should probably ask him um lucky he says my right ball i'm gonna leave it at that good play you should leave it at that because you started out weak and you probably would have just gotten weaker from there Hello Mortals says Pitbull got, Pitbull got into hardcore drugs. I kind of feel like he's always been into hardcore drugs. Steamer Fan 221 says, You're so cool that Mr. Freeze got frostbite. I don't care if it's not a roast, I just think you're cool. Well, thank you, Steamer Fan 221. That's very cool of you to recognize that when it's not a roast, you just kind of roll with it, say something. A lot of these other people could learn a lot from you because this is supposed to be a roast and they're like, I don't know what they're doing. Veracity says, brand power commercial, but it's a guy. Whatever that means. Um, Goob Gab says, you look like my big toe. Yeah, I guess I, uh, I, I kind of do look like a big toe with my bald head and all. That was, that was pretty good. Little Timmy with a gun. You look like you make Faberge eggs out of people. I think Little Timmy with a gun was going for Fabergé. Um, that's a good one. That is good. Um, it's like you're a serial killer, but you're also into arts and crafts. Little Timmy with a gun, that is genius. I like that. Peter Griffin says... <laughs> Peter Griffin says, I don't trust you near minors. Another kitty diddling one, unoriginal. Chroma Gang says, my pubic hair looks better than your beard. It's probably because you spend way too much time 
primping your pubic hair but hey man i'm not judging everybody needs a hobby benjamin nelson says you look crazy to be honest i get that a lot bra moment says mom made chicken that must be good chicken the little noob says you are very keck justin h says when you buy walter white from wish.com that's a good one i like that it's like a generic cheap ass Walter White that tries making meth, but he only ends up making like, I don't know, super glue and smokes it and then gets naked and robs a little Caesars. Positivity says, sorry, but you look like budget Shrek. I guess I could kind of see it. XX Wild XX simply says, Bald. Yep. This was uh, supposed to be a roast, not a description of what I look like. Mariana Manta says, People only care about your useless invention and nothing else. No matter how long you make videos, you will only be known as the guy who gave everyone a middle finger from a water, water bottle and gloves. Mariana, that is probably true, but fortunately for me, I'm not here to win a popularity contest or get famous or anything like that. I do this because I enjoy it. It's fun for me. So whether my videos get a lot of views or no views, it's all the same to me. Thank you for stopping by, Mariana. Screech S simply says, I am gay. So congratulations, Screech S, on your gayness. And Cat. Aoku, whatever, says, who are you? Who the fuck are you? All right, that is it for the comments that were on the community thread. Now I'm going to go through the few comments that were on the actual video itself. Jerry said, I tried my best, but it was a horrible roast. So um, I don't think I ever saw Jerry's comment on the community thread, so I don't know what they're talking about. Nate Desa said, so true though. Kim Van Dam, my fiance, said, you always roast me. And yes, I always roast her. Um, Priyanka Indravat says, love you, dude. Love you too. The Blues says, hi. Loin K says, hello. Ha 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 guy again says, ah, ha, 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 ha. I love this guy. Keep on making more videos. D Mogul says, this was the best video and the ending comment was golden. It would be hard to roast you. I'd have to really think about it. And you know, it, it is hard to roast a person that always makes fun of themselves because they know themselves better than anybody. And that way they can get the best roasts on themselves. Uh, Severus Snape says, nice, I love it. And lastly, F Miro from Mars, which was probably my favorite one out of all of them, says, brah, you look like you build carnival rides for a living. It's, it's just so weird and random. I mean, obviously, carnies are weird people, but the people that build the carnival rides, they got to be just as weird, if not weirder than that. So... That is it. Thank you so much. Most of the roasting sucked ass. Obviously, I should have better defined what roasting actually is because it seems most people just didn't get it or they were just plain old unoriginal. We will do this again sometime and hopefully within that time everybody can uh, understand what a roast actually is. Go watch Comedy Central Roast. Those are brilliant and get learned on it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>